it's Kate here from the Scrappy Sisters and today for my card for our Scrappy Advent Calendar, uh, this is the only card I'm doing like this. I am just making cards using my stash. <clears throat> so I'm not doing any stamping, I'm not doing any kind of sentiments or anything like that, although I do add a few, a, a couple of phrase um die cuts I was looking for the word there that does imply you know a particular type of card so I had some frames in my stash that had some of that like pom-pom trim around them I think they might have been from a Maggie Holmes collection I can't really remember but I've had them for a while and so I thought you know what they're a bit bulky for the type of scrapbooking that I do now mainly because I don't have a lot of space in my albums <laughs> so I figured that I would use them on cards so I wanted to show you guys that making cards is not about what stamps you have and what paper you have. You can absolutely use your stash and create really cute homemade cards. And it also gives you a way to use up some of that ephemera you might have had lying around that you're not really, you know, that keen on putting into a layout. But Or you have some really themed ephemera. That would work really well too. Um, yeah, so I am using pre-made card bases. Again, the pre-made card bases are from Stampin' Up! But you can buy pre-made card bases from lots of different places. These have particular patterns and colours on them. You can get pre-made card bases that are just plain white or craft or black even. Um, and you can build from there. Or you can just use paper that you've got in your stash. Just use pattern paper that you, you know, aren't going to put into a layout and then maybe put a little card mat of some white cardstock on the inside so you can write on them um, but you could definitely just you know go nuts go crazy with what you've got left and it's a great way I think to use up those little bits you have lying around so again I've got the frames this one that I'm working on now I guess is sort of it's it's a housewarming type card that's the vibe I was going for so I've got these three little um, houses die cuts they're from a Rosie studio collection that I had lying around uh, and I'm just gluing down the frames with wet glue so that they stick well because um, I don't really want them to fall off because they are so bulky these probably are not the best cards for putting in the post I will say that uh, but good if you're just giving a card to someone in person but yeah definitely probably not not great for the post would be my guess um so yeah, I'm just holding them down so that the wet glue can adhere and then I'm layering up my ephemera. <clears throat> so I am kind of layering a few things underneath the frame and a couple of things on top of the frame. So you can see here I'm just putting some foam down to pop this last house onto um, and that's that house is kind of on the outside of the frame um, yeah and I've put a few things on the inside and then the little sentiment piece says home sweet home again I didn't stamp this this was also in the ephemera that I was using um, and then this last card I found this round pieces of ephemera again it's from Rosie Studio these are all from a Rosie Studio collection I don't know which one sorry um, when you buy them from the reject shop in Australia they're not usually uh, written with the the right collection name on them that Rosie Studio have released them as so it's a little bit confusing um, but it's just a super cute kind of round piece that says let love grow with a lot of succulents around the edge and it fit perfectly um, on top of this frame I could have put it underneath the frame but I wanted to see all of those succulent bits around the outside of the die cut and because it fit perfectly in that frame you still get that really cute yellow pom-pom trim and I just I think it's really cute now I do add this butterfly on top of the frame so it does add a little bit more bulk again why these probably aren't the best cards to send and then I just decided to put this little uh, succulent die cut just stuck on the inside of the card just for something a little bit of detail there um, no reason other than I had it out and I wanted to use it <laughs> and that's it oh my god these are so simple so please 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 if you like making homemade cards or you have to make a card for someone don't worry about rushing out and buying kind of you know the latest and greatest things you can get those absolutely if that's your jam um, I'm not saying don't buy them I'm saying you don't need them if you would like to make cards I know the rest of my cards have all used stamps and dies and, and things like that, but that's because I have them. <laughs> um, but I did want to do some um, cards just with, you know, 
ephemera and bits and pieces from a stash that mostly any scrapbooker would have so that I can show you how easy it is to make cards you know with with what the stuff that you already have now I'm just adding some Liquitex um, acrylic is it acrylic ink Liquitex ink acrylic ink is not a thing um in the white and the copper um, there were a few really big splatters that happened on that bottom card but we're just going with it <laughs> the copper I used because there's accents in all of the ephemera pieces that are that sort of rose goldy coppery um, metallic and they look really pretty and so I just wanted to accent that with some splatters as well I thought the cards just needed a little something else just to kind of I don't know make them feel finished. I was going to add some Nouveau drops or some enamel shapes or, or enamel dots, but I just decided that with the splatters, they kind of worked perfectly. Now I just pulled out my craft mat. I don't use this very often. It's a relatively recent addition to my craft room and I forget that I have it. Um, it's only 12 inches so on one side and slightly bigger on the other so it's not great for my scrapbook layouts but it was perfect for this so here are my close-ups and you will uh, see a picture in a minute make sure you watch Jess's opening video from today thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you tomorrow all right guys bye